Hi, my name is Annie McCarthy, and I'm a member of Our Lady of the Rosary Cathedral in San Bernardino. Thank you for joining us on I Got Today. When you read the Holy Scripture, you know you are reading truth. Not only that, but you are reading a book designed to help you find your way to God. Today's readings are asking us to make a decision. It's time to choose. In the first reading from Genesis, chapter 13, verses 2 and 5 through 18, we hear about Lot's decision to settle in the Jordan Plain near the happy town of Sodom. Very happy they were in their wickedness. What a choice. And to Abram, by comparison, God subsequently gave much for his faithfulness. You can't tell me Lot had no idea where he was going. Then also, we see the signposts up ahead in the Psalms and in the Gospel acclamation. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. They could be neon signs pointing to heaven. In the Gospel, Jesus lays it all out for us. The first two statements cover the Ten Commandments our relationship with God and our relationship with each other. Do not give what is holy to dogs or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. We see it's all about choosing our paths. For those of us brought up in the church, we know about paths and choosing. It was part of our parents' commitment for us at baptism and the commitments we ourselves made later as we took our own sacraments. What joyful blessings and grace they impart. But truthfully, what path do we take? In today's society, that's not always clear. So we pray for discernment in all things. We ask our Father for the wisdom to know and for the very sake of our souls and those around us too. We remember the last part of today's gospel as if our lives depended on it, because they do. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life and those who find it are few. Let us pray. God of all creation, of heaven and earth, of the seen and unseen. You carry us with you. You give us life. You give us your Son. How simple in many ways for us to follow, but in other ways we fail in this fallen world. Be with us when we speak of wisdom and grace. In Jesus' precious and holy name, amen.